Hi, I'm Martin Edmondson, the founder of Reflections, and this is Driver 3. My name is Mocho, Mocho Mars, I deal in second-hand embodied Russian cars you bring me. No money, no respect, we'll see how much you're laughing when we break your legs. I said, hang on, wait on, call off the Alsatian, I got a solution, you need a car. You play the part of, of Tanner again, and uh, you have the same uh, partner, Tobias Jones. And the, the main aim in the, the game is that you infiltrate this gang of car thieves. And that means that you have to gain their trust and you have to work for this gang of car thieves. Ultimately, of course, you have to bring down the gang of car thieves, but it means that you spend the vast majority of the game working for uh, this gang and uh, they give you various jobs and so on to, to gain their, uh, their trust. And uh, that involves working against some other rival gangs at the same time. And uh, obviously because they're a gang of car thieves, it involves quite a lot of uh, car-based missions as well. Yeah, I think on reflection, Stuntman was certainly too hard, it, uh, it, it, for, for a variety of reasons. The, the aim with Driver 3 is to make it a bit more accessible, but to ramp up, I don't have a problem with hard games, in fact, I, I think we don't want the game to be easy, but it should certainly start easy, and you should be able to get a fair way through the game of average ability, and then it should start to get tough. And what we want to try and avoid is in the tuning of the missions, one of the problems with Driver 2 actually was not that the game was so hard, but that one mission would be very hard, and then the next mission would be easy, and then the next mission would be very hard again. So it's to try and tune tune that out and try and make something that's a little bit more of a smooth curve. We haven't actually decided. What we do is uh, we, 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 it's going to be 35 to 40. And we haven't decided yet because until we have all the missions in and we can play all the missions and tune them and decide which ones you know, are the stronger ones and the, the weaker ones, I'd rather drop a weak mission than just have it in there for the sake of it. So. Uh, you know, it, it could it could change, but it's around 35 to 40. The free ride is accessed by selecting take a ride. So you select take a ride, and then you can choose any of the three cities. Um, choose the weather, choose the time of day, and so on. And then you just go into the city, and you can do whatever you want. You just rag around, smash into cars, set up film directors. Um, there are some little mini games hidden in there as well, but basically the idea is it's the kind of mode that you would come back from the pub with your mates and just smash into cars for 10 minutes or so. Uh, the plan with the cops really, it's, it's similar to Driver 1 and Driver 2 in that you can do anything you like if a cop can't see you. Um, as soon as a cop is in range and he has a view cone, you can see him on the map there, you can see his view cone. You won't get pulled over for five miles an hour over the speed limit, for example. But if you start smashing into cars and so on, and, or driving over people, or killing people, or whatever, within the cop's view range, then, uh, then he'll be onto you. Same way as driver one. It works. Same system, really, using the felony bar. So the more illegal things you do, the higher the felony bar goes, and the more aggressive and determined that they become. The intention is, is, is not because, the first of all, we don't have any blood in the game. Uh, so we've tried to make it as uh, Germany-friendly as possible. Um, we also, we don't encourage shooting pedestrians. In fact, if you shoot a pedestrian, it makes the game a lot harder. So we, ca we, we can't stop, we don't want to stop you shooting one if you want to. But if you want to prog progress and further the game, then there's no point in doing that. Of course, everybody's going to do it anyway, but, you know, so the facility's there to do it. But uh, it's, it's not encouraged. Um, the running over of civilians and pedestrians, it, it's actually a, a relatively difficult thing to do. They run out of the way, they scatter, but if you manage to catch one, then it deals with it, they fall over, they land on the ground, then they get up again. It doesn't work on every single object, it doesn't work on a house. You know, a house is a solid object and that won't move, but certain elements that are attached to the house, some of those are, but certainly anything that you 
Um, you know, if you if you blow a truck to pieces, the wheels on the ground have physical properties, the doors and so on. So the bits that fall off do. Uh, but we change that depending on certain amounts of workload. So, for example, if you explode a, a grenade next to a, a park bench. The park bench has physical properties, but the pieces of wood that fall off the park bench are uh, don't have physical properties. Whereas a car that gets blown up, all the pieces that fall off the car have physical properties. So it, it all depends on how important the object is to the environment. Uh, they stay there forever if you don't move. So if you smash a car to pieces, the pieces are on the ground. If you just sit there, then they just stay there. Um, if you drive away, so drive a mile away and come back, then they won't be there anymore. So it's a, it's a fairly fluid system. It depends on what you're doing. My name is Mucho, Mucho. Using live is something that we would love to be able to do, but it's a timing issue for us. I mean, certainly the game is not designed as a multiplayer game, so it will be a, a, a file swapping, file sharing kind of thing, high scores and film director, but um, that's not something that we can guarantee at this stage, just because of time. I think Driver 3 competes because it isn't actually competing in the same area, really. It, it is, if you, if you break down the game to its component parts, you can say it's the same genre because it's driving, action, guns, running around the streets and so on. But the focus of Driver has always been the most realistic simulation of car chases and uh, movie and TV car chases. And you definitely can't call Vice City or Getaway or whatever a car chase game. You know, the, the, the driving in them tends to be a means to an end to get to the next mission. Whereas the main focus of driver, the main fun element of driver is the, uh, is the car chase section, the car sections, the watching the collisions, watching the dynamics of the cars and so on. And what we've tried to do is get that, uh, the reaction of the cars and the look and feel of the cars as close as possible to if you were watching that same thing um, in a real film environment. I, I love video games. I've been playing since Atari, ColecoVision, to Sega, to Nintendo, to Super Nintendo, to all the game consoles. You basically get to look at a, a little layout that they had, and they'll have like the characters, their bodies moving, the background isn't in yet, you know? And you get to see kind of like the layout of the land and how, you know, the characters interact with each other, like their mannerisms and their movements. And then you kind of adapt to that and do your voiceover. That's what I'm talking about. And then once you find a place, then you put ad camera. My, my favorite characteristic and most original characteristic of the whole thing is that you get to direct. You get to put the camera where you want to put it, rewind, do the scene over again until it looks picture perfect. You get to like basically make your own music videos. I got, I got five sons and they play video games. So I thought they'd get a big kick out of seeing their dad and hearing their dad's voice in the video games. That was a big part of it for me. I tried to put the voice with the character, you know? It's a good part, man. You know, I, I'm usually like the, the bad guy that gets thrown out the window or shot in the head. And this time I get to be the hero. I had a lot of fun with it. The best part about doing this stuff is you don't have to shave when you go to work.